Today, we're talking about a small but awesome feature in One UI 7.0 that's going to make a huge difference if you love customizing your phone's look, especially if you're all about wallpapers. We all know that finding the perfect wallpaper can be tricky, especially when your home screen is crowded with app shortcuts and widgets. A busy wallpaper can make your app labels hard to read, which can be super annoying, right? Well, Samsung's got your back with a handy new feature, the ability to blur your wallpaper before you even set it as your background. In One UI 6, we had some options for applying effects like turning the wallpaper black and white or adding a color filter. There was even a blur option, but it was limited to images with people and only blurred the background. One UI 7.0 changes all of that. Now you can blur any wallpaper, not just images with people. And if your photo does feature people, you get a choice. Blur the whole image or just the background. Why is this such a game changer? It allows you to keep your home screen looking clean and organized while still showcasing a beautiful wallpaper. The blur effect makes sure your app icons and labels stay legible, no matter how intricate or busy the wallpaper is. Here's a quick example. On the left, we've got a home screen with a busy wallpaper and icons that are hard to read. But on the right, we've applied the blur effect and voila, the app labels pop and the home screen looks sleek without losing the wallpaper's charm. This is just one of the many small changes in One UI 7.0 that are designed to enhance the overall user experience. Whether you're into minimalism or just want a cleaner look, this new feature makes it so much easier to customize your phone while keeping it practical. Let me know what you think in the comments. Are you going to be using this blur effect on your home screen? Today, we're diving into One UI 7.0, built on Android 15, and taking a look at the small yet impactful changes that make a big difference in your day-to-day -day experience. While the major features like the quick panel, now bar, and charging animations have all caught attention, it's the subtle tweaks that truly elevate the user experience. Let's talk about five small changes in One UI 7.0 that I absolutely love. One, vertical app drawer. If you've used One UI before, you know how the horizontal scrolling app drawer was a bit of a pain. It wasn't a deal breaker, but it could get annoying, especially if you had a lot of apps. With One UI 7.0, Samsung has made vertical scrolling the default, and it's a total game changer. You can quickly scroll up or down to access your apps with fewer swipes. Plus, it just feels smoother and more fluid. Definitely a welcome improvement. 2. Translucent Effects Samsung has added translucent effects to the design, and trust me, it makes a huge difference. Whether it's the Now Bar home screen widgets or the pill-shaped bar for ongoing activities in the status bar, everything looks more modern with these translucent backgrounds. The depth it adds to the interface is subtle but really makes the UI feel more premium and layered. It's these small touches that make One UI 7.0 so visually appealing. 3. New Locking and Unlocking Sounds Okay, I know this one might sound trivial, but hear me out. The locking and unlocking sounds in One UI 7.0 have been refined, and they sound way crisper and more satisfying than before. It's a small detail, but it's one of those audio refinements that just makes using the phone feel more polished. Every time you lock or unlock your device, it gives you a little extra satisfaction. 4. App Size and Label Settings Another neat feature in One UI 7.0 is the ability to adjust app icon sizes on your home screen and remove app labels. If you prefer larger icons for easier access, you can do that. Or if you like a cleaner, minimalist look, you can remove the labels entirely. This gives you more customization options and lets you personalize your home screen layout exactly how you want it. Small but definitely impactful. 5. Easier access to the audio equalizer. Samsung's audio features get a nice boost in One UI 7.0 with easier access to the audio equalizer. In the past, you'd have to dig into the settings, but now you can simply long press the volume slider in the quick panel to access options like Dolby Atmos, the equalizer, and loudness normalization. 
It's a super handy shortcut that frees up space in the quick panel while still getting you easy access to all your audio settings. Looking ahead to future updates, these small improvements really show how much Samsung listens to user feedback and focuses on the details. It's exciting to think about what future updates might bring, especially with new foldable phones potentially launching later this year. Hopefully, Samsung continues to refine and improve the user experience, adding even more thoughtful tweaks in the future. So, what do you think of these subtle but impactful changes in One UI 7.0? Are there any other features you're loving? Drop a comment below and let me know.